What's going on, everybody? Welcome. This is Thursday. I call your seller leads for one hour. Live. That's right. Right here on the spot. And so we're ready to do that. Uh, we've got some folks here want to hop in the room. They've got leads. If you've got leads, hop on in here. The credentials for getting in the what do we call it the domain yeah the domain right there zoomjustin.com just hop right in here bring your lead bring an old lead dead lead crusty lead dry lead ugly lead pretty lead a lead b lead i'll even call your mom okay i'll call anybody all right all right so let's get started right now What's going on, Vic? It's good to see you popping in here. You got a lead for us to call? Yeah, actually, uh, great. I do have a lead great. for you. How, how, how are you today, Justin? Man, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. If anybody out there, just real quick, doesn't have a lead, and you want to participate in these I Call Your Seller Lead sessions, well, there's free leads training uh, right there at shutupmoney.com forward slash leads training. So you can get free leads training right there. Go get started uh, getting some leads. And that way you can participate in the I Call Your Seller Leads on Thursdays. It's a great way to get started, really, without getting started. I mean, if you're one of those folks. <laughs> uh, if you're one of those folks that wants to get started without getting started, this is, this is right up your alley. <laughs> uh, I'm just giving you a hard time, but for real. The, uh, the that website is also scrolling across the top of the screen. So www.shutupmoney.com forward slash leads training. Okay, so that way you can bring some. You know, you never know. We might score a deal here on uh, on some Thursday. You know, it's about lunchtime, so we're just gonna take a few minutes here. We're gonna call some folks and see what we can come up with. So anyway, if you're out there watching or listening, you've got a lead. You want to pop in here? Come on in. It's just it's just us. All right, so let's do this. Welcome, Vic. I'm glad you're here, man. Hey, glad to be on the show. This is like our second one, right? Yeah, last week I had internet problems, and the, uh, I don't know, like my internet router was, I guess, old enough that it was starting to spaz out or something. <laughs> I don't know if that just happens to me or if that happens to everybody, but it seems like every 18 months or so I've got to get a new router. So, uh, anyway, called the, yeah, I just couldn't get it, couldn't get it to work, you know? So it, it, you know, you never feel more lonely nowadays than when your internet's off and you're just like, wow, what do I do? It's like crickets, you know, you know, you know, and then I've got a metal roof on my house. And so like, I don't get a lot of real cell phone signal stuff happening. So it was like, I was just sitting here like. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, but I got it fixed now. So, But but last week we were going to do it. That would have been the second one last week. Today is going to end up being the the, uh, the the second one. So uh, we're missing my – I'm missing my cohorts today, Coach Mark and Coach Ed. They're both on vacation. Ah, everybody says – Yes, they're on vacation. I think Coach Mark is touring with the Grateful Dead. And I think <laughs> it's some kind of reunion tour. And I think Coach uh, Coach Ed is playing golf at Hilton Head Golf Club in North Carolina. North Carolina? Somebody out there know where Hil Hilton Head is? Go ahead and put that in the chat for us. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, very prestigious golf course. All right, so you guys are already texting me your leads. That, that's great. That's what I want you to do. Go ahead and text me your leads uh, or email them in Prezina's case. Welcome, Prezina. Good to see you. 
thanks for emailing me a lead. So uh, I'm just kind of talking, and while you guys are getting these leads to me here, and then I'll start I'll start calling a few of these here. Okay, all right. Let's see what we got here. So far, I've got a phone number. I've got a Zillow listing in Virginia. Okay, was a lead that was sent a lease purchase, and they agreed and opened it, but they did not sign the agreement. Is that right? Is that what's happening, Vic? Okay, yep. he, said, he said correct. All right, all right. So let me write this down so I can call it. And this is in Virginia. Um, and let's see if we can get a hold of this person. Now, this looks like a very nice house, okay? Um, we don't know this person's first name, or do we? We do know this person's first name. Okay, are y'all there? No, but I can pull that up for you. No, that's okay. I'm just curious. And it looks like it's a six hundred and sixty thousand dollar house. Yep. So we're talking about a pretty deal here. Okay. Pretty house. Yeah. Um, and they agreed to a lease option and then kind of started ghosting us. All right. So I'm going to call as your partner right now, and we're going to see if we can resurrect this deal. I like these ghosted deals, okay? So what I'm going to play is Contract Policeman, okay? Everybody's heard me refer to that. I'm going to play Contract Policeman, and I'm going to see if we can. And now, was did she talk to Christina, Karen, or Vic? Which one did she talk to? Okay, Christina. Okay, great, 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 great. Thank you. So well, she was previously working with Christina, so I'm going to call as Christina's partner, and AKA contract police man. Okay. Phone is dialing. Yeah, my name is Justin. I'm calling about a property at uh, 206. Um, is that? Are you a realtor? Nope, not a realtor. Nope. Actually, been working with you a little bit before. Uh, my partner's name is Christina, and she had sent out an agreement. Mm -hmm. And I was just—we never heard back from you guys. And I just wanted to follow up, see if maybe there's something I can do to help you feel more comfortable with things, or maybe find out what's going on. Yeah, I didn't feel very comfortable with it. I wanted to talk to someone in person, and uh, okay, uh, had already touched base with the attorney and everything, but uh, just didn't feel comfortable moving forward. Okay, um, trying trying to figure out what the, the, the three years is all about. And okay, all right, yeah. So, it, um, it, were there any specific questions about the three years? You you are you can, are you talking about renting it for three years to us, and then us buying it at the asking price or the agreed price? Uh, Correct. Okay. So, so, uh, so I mean, there, there needs to be a little more, uh, you know, granularity to the to the contract stuff. As far as um, from what I was speaking with my attorney about, there needs to be like an escrow account. And so, just in case anything did sideways in this, uh, I am compensated. And you know, if there's extensive, you know, whatever is done to the property. Um, we, we didn't speak about the deposits and stuff like that, so there, there were just some other factors involved. I understand, and I agree with so you. Do you, do, you, do, you, do you have a, a person uh, to lease it? Do you have that person I can speak with locally? Well, you know, I, I don't, and the reason is because I don't have anything worked out with you. And to, to be legal, I can't, I can't talk in, to anybody about doing anything with the property until I've got something in agreement with you. Okay. And, and so that's, yeah, that's kind of where we're going with that. But I, I agree the paperwork I sent you is, uh, well, I'm, I'm actually originally from Kentucky. And so mm -hmm. it's a little bit of a hillbilly agreement, man. So I, you know, if you've got an yeah. attorney that you, that you like and you trust, I'm not married to the paperwork, sir. So, okay. so I mean, if the, if the idea is not turning you off, then, Let's work with your attorney's paperwork. If he had, do you have paperwork that you prefer, sir? 
Yeah, I could probably put that together. Um, but again, yeah, like like I said, uh, I'd like to see someone local. There's no one local I can speak with. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, not not currently, but what we'll do is we'll produce someone locally there. Uh, once you and I have an agreement, or if I just have a permission slip, really, that's that's really what I'm looking for. Then I can get someone lined up there locally, and you can meet them. And if we if we put it in the paperwork where you can give us the thumbs up or the thumbs down on that person, and you're in the you're in the driver's seat, um, we're we're not doing this like behind your back or anything. You're you're fully aware. You get to see whatever background screen stuff we've pulled on these folks and everything. You can participate in this entire process. If if we do it that way, does that make you feel more comfortable or maybe yeah, not? Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I'm talking about. I mean, I, I would still be a landlord. You know, that's kind of the that's kind of the upside and, and downside. You know, the yeah. upside is you get you're getting a great you know rental income, but it's downside. I still have to manage that property. I, I still have to inspect and. That's our thing. Well, I understand. Um, we can put whatever you like in the agreement when it re refers to that, uh, as far as the, the maintenance and the, the, the payment being an escrow uh, or, or held by an escrow company or collected by an escrow company and then paid out to you or your mortgage company, however you prefer. Uh, all of those things, you know, we're actually okay with those things. Um, yeah, so I don't know if I don't know if we're as far apart as what it what it may be initially felt like but what what do you think is this something that we can consider moving forward with what would be the next steps for you yeah, or yeah, is this I, a deal breaker I, I think i think uh, just feeling comfortable i i mean you're halfway across the country i don't know the name of the company um you know it's stuff like that yeah. that just you know gives me pause so, okay um I, I just need to feel comfortable because this is a legitimate legitimate company a legitimate offer and uh, there's no shenanigans because a lot of people yeah. are losing their titles and stuff, yeah. you know, yeah. picking up the phone and talking to someone. So yep. uh, first time I, I spoke with Christina, I couldn't call her back. And, you know, it was just a, just a odd situation. So, okay. All right. Well, yeah. uh, if... I understand. If if you're if you're not interested, I I'm totally okay with that too, sir. You you can just tell me no. Um, but I but I also don't want you just feel uncomfortable and like I didn't give you the right information or something. I my my name is yeah. Justin Chamness. You you can Google me yeah. if you want. I'm very popular. I invest all across the country, and okay. and I'm prepared to do something right there with you today if you are. Uh, my last name is C H A. Can I what? I would love to. I'll, yes, I'll, I'll have I'll have Christina text you right now. In fact. Okay. Yep. I'll do that. Yes, yeah. sir. And uh, if there's anything that I can do to make you feel more comfortable, besides that, tell me what it is now, and I'll have it done. Okay. We'll do. We'll do. Let me. Let me. Uh, I'm, I'm out right now. And, okay. Uh, I'll have to get back with you. Okay. Well, we'll follow up with you then. Is that okay? Yeah, that sounds great. Okay. Well, you know, it's okay if you just want to say no, and then I won't follow up with you. But if you want me to follow up with you, I'll, I will. Is that okay? <laughs> No, no, it sounds like a great idea, uh, a great uh, opportunity, so I, I definitely want to follow up. It's just, okay. you know, just need to put some feet on this thing. Okay, all right, we'll follow up with you soon. Thank you, sir, appreciate it. Thank, thank you. All right, bye-bye. Okay, so that guy was not able to get him off the fence. You could see that. Um, he's got a lot of inhibitions. I tried some of my magic on him. <laughs> some of it worked pretty good. Uh some of it didn't. I think he's going to have to... This is one of those deals where we just need to follow up, okay? And there are deals where you need to follow up. This is one of them, okay? All right, so that's the situation there. Yes, sir. -y. That was so, a great call. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate that. So uh, let's continue on with uh, with some more some more calling. Y'all got some more leads. What do you got? Any questions about that one or any thoughts? You want to text him my phone number or my uh, my name? Uh, you text him uh, you know whatever you want. I've got a I've got a buyer site too there, uh, Christina, and yep. I'll put that in the chat here too. I 
have a phone number. You want me to put it in the chat? Um, yeah, can you put it in the, uh, can you text me? Do you have my phone number to text Sure. Me? Let me see if, yeah, I do. Okay. Sorry, I'm a little scrambled here. I'm, I've got three monitors and they kind of get my brain a little discombobulated. Okay. Um, any thoughts or questions or concerns about that particular deal? Anything? Okay. Yeah, so he did mention, um, for example, I, I don't think he remembered Christina because we did put our name in the contract. We did call him back. Okay. Um, and he did uh, email us back yesterday. He was like, I can't open the email. So this guy seems a little bit like scattered yeah. a little yeah. bit. Yeah. He, he, he couldn't commit, but he could commit on the first phone right. call. So he's a little bit like he won't like his word is not his bond <laughs> yeah seems like yeah he's kind of flaky um he's wanting us to chase him okay all of that shit i don't like any of that personally um but what i do like is that he would not tell me no okay he yeah. would not tell me no and y'all saw me back him into a corner a couple times right do you feel like i did like i backed him into the corner i was like hey listen you know it's just, just not a good fit for you. If you want to just say no, okay. Like I tried that a couple, two or three times, okay. And sometimes that gets when you do that and you cross that bridge. Sometimes you can take that those inhibitions and those those arguments and fights and those you know walls. You can take them down forever, okay. Sometimes that you can take them down forever. In this case, it didn't seem to work forever. So I think we just got to follow up with that guy. But that, that, that's my opinion on that one. But you know, again, everything here is fluid. You know, I'm not, I'm not all knowing or, you know, all powerful either. So I, <laughs> I'm just doing great eyes. Sounds uh, like the great eyes. Well, would you say it looks like what? The great eyes, Wizard of Oz. With my, all with my, with my glasses. Oh. No, no, no. That's what you sounded like oh, yeah. being all knowing. Oh well, okay. Thank you. All right, who's up next here? We got, um, hey, thanks for bringing that one because that was a fun one, okay? That was really good. That was really, really good. Okay, let's do Prezina next here. Um, I've got Prezina right here, and then then Valerie will be next. Um, okay, so let me get back to the phone and put this number in. This looks like a a new york one again is was that last one new york or no that was virginia okay all right here's a new york one and let me put the number in here okay 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 and it looks like we are talking about a $224,000 property. Um, looks like they're asking one seventy-five dollars for it. It's a four-bedroom, two-bath. Uh, no, wait a minute. It's... Hmm. Let me see if I can look this one up. Got a little typo there. Let me see if I can figure out. I just want to see what the price is here. Yeah, 175,000, four bedroom, two bath. Yep. Okay. And this is not an ugly house. All right. I like it. Hey, you want to give me any backstory on this one, Prezina? Have you uh, spoken with this lady? Is she a No, she... I no. Okay. I didn't say I just look it up. Okay, okay. Cool. Let's call it right now. Yeah, hey, my name is Justin. I'm calling about a property that I saw on Zillow. It's a... Uh... Is, is I got the right place? Yeah, that, that property, yeah, yeah that, that property's still available. Okay, great. Well, hey, um, I was calling because I'm a, I'm a landlord investor, and I saw this one on Zillow today, and I wanted to call and maybe ask a few questions about it. I'd like to maybe uh, make an offer on it. 
Great. Are, are you in a position to receive it, uh, like accept an offer if I was to make a, one that felt comfortable for you today? Yeah. Okay, great, great, good. Well, what about the house uh, or your situation, should I understand, man? I, I want to I put everything that's important to you in my offer here uh, and get it over to you. So what, what, what things are important to you that I might want to consider to put in my offer here? Anything that we, you want to talk about or want to tell me about? Okay. Okay. You're a landlord too. Okay. Well, um, have they been problem tenants or are they really going to move out like that? Or, or is that a situation for you? Oh, no, it's actually my brother. Oh, okay. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not, not that he's a problem tenant, just that, uh, I don't, I don't want to deal with the maintaining a second house any longer. Okay. So, Man, I'm I'm sorry to ask you this, but it it looks like you you've had it on Zillow for like a couple months or more maybe, and you've got a lot of people that have saved it. I, you're you're offering it pretty cheap, it looks like too. So why is this thing not gone already, man? Well, I had a, a pending offer for geez, for most of the time, like pretty much right away. I accepted an offer, and then her financing completely fell through. So it just <laughs> happened in the last week or so. Hmm. Well, okay. Would you consider, are, are you looking for only cash or would you consider doing something creative with me for a couple years and then getting cashed out? Well, um, there's still a note on it. So that would be, I mean, there's still a note roughly, roughly a hundred K. Okay. Well, that's, that's not bad. Okay, so you've got, you, you, you definitely want me to cover the note, and so you're debt-free on it, and then we could maybe work out something creative between you and I for the, for the balance. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, exactly. Okay, okay. Whew, man, that's, that's a lot, though. You know, I said it wasn't bad, but <laughs> it's not bad until you want me to pay it. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, man, you know that you got me interested in it, but, uh, what, what do you got to have that note paid off for? You want to go buy something else? Is that what you're doing? I'm sorry, what was that? You're, you're wanting the note paid off. Is that because you're wanting to buy something else? Oh, no, I'm just trying to, to rid myself of, of debt. Okay. Got it. Got it. Okay. I'm trying to take on all the debt I can and you're trying to get rid of it, man. That sounds like a good partnership. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'll tell you what I'll have to do here, man. Um, because you wouldn't do anything like a rent, like a lease option with me, a lease purchase. You wouldn't do a lease purchase with me, would you? Is he? Okay. Yeah. Sorry, the signal's kind of breaking up, man. I heard no, though. Okay. Are you there? All right. Are you there? Yeah, Hello? it's a little bit of a dead spot through here, so you might lose me for a second or two. Okay, no problem. No problem. You wouldn't do a lease option with me uh, or a lease purchase? Okay. 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 I got it. All right. Well, let me do some, let me do some thinking on that because you've kind of laid out the plan for me here. And if I can get on that path where I can do the hundred K I'll do it. Okay. So, but I'll, I'll need to do some thinking on it and do some research here. Can I call you back if it's something I'm really, I'm ready to do? Okay, great. Appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Right. Have a great day. Bro. You too. Bye-bye. All right, so. Okay. <laughs> yeah, see that one there? The guy's totally not interested in a lease option, right? Option, but right. he would do a seller finance if we had somebody with. But see, the problem is, is the house is only worth 
two and a quarter, 225,000. And he wants almost half of that down. See, that's mm-hmm. the problem. So, oh, he mm-hmm. wants, so he wants that note paid off. So it's a little steep for us to, I can't imagine us finding a buyer. Maybe we could <laughs> that would come in coming, yeah. uh, with that much cash and say, Hey, listen, I'll put down 60, 60% <laughs> down. You know, that's, that's a lot, you know? Um, and I say 60 because then if we're doing 50, for example, uh, and then we would want 10%, you know, for us to keep, you know, so it'd be like hard to do. Um, mm-hmm. So that, I don't know this is that's close to a deal. I need to think on this one because I I want it to be a deal real bad. This is a pretty house too. It's a nice house mm-hmm. for Zena. So yeah. that was a fun one too. Thanks for letting me call that one. Thanks okay. for letting me call that one. Yeah. I hope you guys are learning something too just by listening to me a little bit, you know, it's you know, when you guys are making calls and stuff. All right, let's do another one here uh Val. Val's got one. Let me see here. Um uh, there we go. Okay. Let me write it down here. And this one looks like it's in... Yeah. Um, Pennsylvania. Okay. Okay. And... Have you talked to this one before, or is this just a fresh lead? I've talked to him before. I did find out that the house was, um, uh, it seemed to be worth only $145. Uh, okay. When I told him that, he, he was no longer interested in a lease option. But I did go ahead and send him the agreement anyway, because I put in there that subject to appraisal uh, when the cash is out. But So I gave him his full asking price, which was $189.9. But subject to appraisal, now I can't get him on the phone. Okay, you gave him his full asking price at one eighty nine nine, and he's still ghosting you. Yeah. Even though the house is only worth what? Would you say one forty something? One forty five. And okay, and I see you sent a note here that said it looks like you sent the contract to him on the eleventh of this month, and today is the twenty third, so it's high time. Right for him to say yeah. something, he needs to say yeah. yes or no. Right, Mr. Contract Policeman on the way. Here I go. Okay, how do I say his first name? Vilas? You, you think that? Uh, I think he says Villas. Villas. Okay. Let's try this. Let's try this. All right. Um. Dialing the phone right now. Okay. Please leave your message for 610-247-2990. Hey, this is Justin. Recently, and uh, we hadn't heard back from you. And, you know, I got some... We got we got our information floating around out there, and I'm starting to wonder if this uh, if this is a scam or something. So we're getting nervous. We haven't heard from you. Please let Val know at six one four. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay. 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 So you know, I try to sound a little bit like, hey, you know. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know. It's been 13 days. You asked us to send you some personal stuff and, you know, hopefully that'll get him off. Thank you. Hopefully that'll get him off dead center. We'll see what happens there. 
He might get mad at us, though. But, you know, I'd rather him get mad and call us back than not call us back at all. You know, because at least then you know. Right. Okay. we got another one here lined up anywhere. You guys, uh... Or you want to take a you want to take a quick break? Let's take a question. You want to take a question? You got a question there, Vic? What's your question there, bud? Appreciate Vic working so hard for us this week, him and Karen. <laughs> Handling the yeah. calling sellers together sessions too. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, thank you. Uh, so here's a question that I found from uh, online that that may or may not be a uh, something that people might come across. So here's a text that says someone's texting a seller and they, they ask him for um, a reasonable earnest money deposit and the teller expects you want a due diligence clause. It comes with a penalty clause. You're not walking away after 30 days. And the uh, wholesale replies, fair enough. My plan is to never walk away. The penalty clause is that you can keep the $250 earnest money deposit and if for some reason I walk away 30 days, we generally want that, you know, $250 to be refunded back, but I'm willing to update the agreement to say that uh, you can keep the $250. Um, right. So how does that sound? And the seller responds back, try 10% earnest money. Yeah. Try a million dollars. One million dollars. Right. <laughs> It's crazy, yeah. Yeah, the seller, he's... He's definitely not motivated. I think we can all agree on that. All right? If the seller wants 10% down earnest money, I think there's two things we can... Sorry. Sorry, my dog's barking. All right, I had to yell shut up there. <laughs> They understand English, so it's okay. They know what that means. Um, yeah, I think there's two things we know about this seller. One is he's not motivated because he wants 10% down earnest money. That's crazy. Um, so he's probably just trying to say no. But he's a real smart guy, so he doesn't want to just say no. He wants to really, really show you how smart he is when he says no. So he's going to be like, well, I'll do 10% like he never he knows you're not going to be able to do that he's never going to want to do it 10% non-refundable earnest money on this ugly house deal yeah this guy's one he's not motivated two he doesn't watch TV and he doesn't know the market is shifting already so I think you know that's just not really the right guy in my opinion but alright as far as homeowner goes it's not the right type of guy but secondly what I would do is I would say, Mr. Homeowner, okay, it seems to me like selling your home to the right person is very important to you. Why does it mean so much? Has someone let you down? Who broke your heart? Y'all follow me? <laughs> Who broke your heart? And can you love again? Okay, that's really what I'm trying to say. And I'm going to say that basically by saying, Mr. Homeowner, uh, have you had a bad experience with someone before? Oh, you have. Okay. And they didn't close and you just wasted time and now you're behind and you don't have a buyer now and they weren't able to close. Oh, they raised interest rates and that buyer couldn't close. Kind of like the last guy we just talked to. So I want everybody to recognize that too. The last guy we just that I just called in in New York, he said I had a buyer lined up and it fell through. Okay, that's happening a lot because they're raising interest rates. So they were qualified and now that they've raised interest rates, they're not qualified. They can't afford it anymore. So boom, done. Toast. So maybe this guy in that story has had a similar experience. He's really bummed out with the whole buyer that didn't work out. And so now he wants to take it out on the next buyer. Well, I'm going to get 10% earnest money, non-refundable. Okay. Well, Mr. Homeowner, I'm not like everyone else. Okay. You're going to love me. Okay. 
All I need is, I need a reasonable, earnest money due at the end of my inspection period, and that's all. Is that a deal breaker? Reasonable, 10% is reasonable, blah, blah, blah. Okay, he's not the right guy, all right? Mr. Homeowner, I could rent that property According to Zestimate, the, the rent is $2,100 a month. I could rent that property for $2,100, not 10%. So if you want me to tie it up for a little while to trying to buy it, I'll, I'll pay for the time that I use, but I'm not giving you 10%. Okay. So is this a deal breaker for you, or can we talk about something more reasonable? Okay, I want you to get comfortable talking to people like that y'all okay just coming right out with it okay because that's how you need to do right that's how you need to do um uh, okay all right that was a good question good question i hope that answered the question okay a couple techniques that you can use you know but the guy ultimately probably just unmotivated Okay, we got uh, Val in here, Prezina, Vic, Karen, Michael. Michael, we haven't heard from you, man. You got a lead that you want to call? You want me to call? No? Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure which Michael that is, but welcome. <laughs> All right, Lisa got a lot of Michaels around here. We got a lot I of Michaels. You. Say what? I sent you, I sent you one uh, through the message. Okay. Cool, cool. Uh, through Messenger. Okay. No, no, no. Uh, through the through the chat. Did you? Oh, did okay. You get it? Yeah. All right. Hold on. Let me go over there. See, I got several chat things happening here. So, okay. I see it. Um, sorry, seems too fishy to me. Is this from the seller? Yeah. Okay. We had sent him already a contract, and then. He, it was a verbal yes. We sent him the contract. Yeah. And then um, I have forgot to adjust it to um, appraisal to be determined within the three years. And then after that, he started becoming a little bit more hesitant and then sent me that that message a couple, couple uh, okay. hours later. Okay. Sorry, seems too fishy to me. If you can connect me with the tenant, I can work out a deal with them directly. All right. We had sent him a contract and later he backed out. He didn't feel comfortable because he couldn't find out our LLC. Is that right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, I don't know, you know, what the whole, you know. I don't know what all that's about sometimes, but okay. So it seems fishy he wants you to connect him with the tenant directly and he go, okay, well, first of all, that's not what we're doing. We're not realtors. We're, that's not, that's illegal. We can't, we're not trying to match make here. What we're trying to do is we're trying to sell our legal interest in an agreement that we have. I need a permission slip. You heard me talk about that with that last guy, you know, or maybe the first guy I talked to today. Well, Mr. Homeowner, you know, I, I, I haven't talked to anyone because I don't have an agreement worked out with you yet. So I need a permission slip with you to even begin to talk to anybody about your property because, or about the property because I, I don't have anything on an agreement with you. Okay. So same way with this guy. So let's see if we can get this guy back on track. And I will give him a call. Where is that phone number? Where is that phone number? Did you put the phone number in there? All right, there it is. Okay, let's dial. Okay. I want you guys to know the best time to call someone is right this second because that's when you're thinking about it. You're never going to be more motivated than you are right now. So just go ahead. When you're thinking about somebody, thinking about a lead, you call them right now. Call them right now. Okay. Okay. 
Hey, Matt. Uh, my name is Justin. I'm calling about a, a property. I sent an agreement to you just a little while back. That's 815. Uh, it's 1815, but yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, man. I, I looked at it wrong. Uh, my partner is Christina, and uh, you know we we kind of talked to you about doing something, and then you, you felt uncomfortable with us for some reason. And I, I'm just calling really to see if we can, you know, build a bridge here. Uh, what can I do to make you feel more comfortable? Does it ring a bell? What I'm talking about, Christina? We were offering to to lease a property, and then. Yep. Okay. Yep, I know what you're talking about. Sure. What what what's the deal breaker for you, man? Is is there anything I can do to, to get things back on track here? I mean, what's important to you that I can change and and make make better? Uh, the whole thing just seems odd to me. I'm just not sure why. If you're dealing with a uh, a different a third party that wants to rent and then buy this this unit, why would I not just work directly with them? Yeah. Because then I wouldn't make any money. You know, this is my business. Um, so how I make money is I connect homeowners with people that want to uh, buy a home eventually. And I do that through a method called assignment. So it, it's a legal, it's a legal pr process where basically I contract the deal with you. And then I'll assign that with your permission to the right people. Okay, so what I mean is, is you'll be in the driver's seat if you want to be. And you can give me the thumbs up or the thumbs down whether these people are, are somebody you feel is, you know, worthy of, of renting the property and, and capable of it. And if you give me the thumbs up, then we move forward. I make money from them. If if we don't move forward, then and I don't make money. But I can't I can't legally put you and, and them together without me being a realtor. And I'm not a realtor. Okay, so I'm just an investor. And I know how I can make just a little bit of money off of this deal doing this, but I know it needs to be a good deal for you. Okay, so is there anything that I could do to make you feel more comfortable with me and the deal so that we could maybe move forward? Or, or is this just really not a good fit for you? Uh, the way it is, I don't think it's a good fit. Um, if you wanted to purchase the property right out right now, and then you can deal with the three years of renting on your end, that's fine, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do a three-year okay. lease to a third okay. party. Okay. Uh, I'm willing to do cash. Uh, how much of a discount can you give me? Uh, so you're talking about just purchasing the property outright, and, yeah. and I'm out of it then. Yeah, I'm an investor, so you know I, I I'll need to I'll need to make some money you know somewhere in the deal. So I, I can't give you full price and cash, but I can give you full price and we can do something creative. But giving you full price cash is just out of the—it's just out of my wheelhouse, man. Is—is is, is this conversation probably over, or or maybe not? Well, how much, uh, how much off the of full price are you talking about for cash? Well, it's a pretty house, man. You're asking. It looks like uh, 160. Is that right? Yep. Well, no, I don't know. 110, 115. Does that sound reasonable? No, I can't do that. What could you do? I'm thinking five off at the most, so I don't think we're in the same ballpark. All right, sir. Hey, I appreciate your time, man. Thank you, sir. Yep. Bye-bye. Okay. Who gave me that one? Was that? Oh, that was Karen. Okay. Hey, all right. So that guy, um, you know, I just don't think he's, I just don't think he's the right stuff. <laughs> he's just not very motivated. It doesn't sound like to me. Um, he doesn't even really want to do a rent to own. He wants somebody to just fly in there and just give him a check. So I would definitely follow up with this guy, like maybe in 30 days. I would put him in my 30 day follow up because uh, at one point he seemed interested, but he's not truly motivated enough to be. But here in about another two or three weeks or a month, as things in the economy and the market and everything do this, he might soften up a whole lot more. Okay. Okay. So again, another follow-up. This is the second or third one that I've said that about today. And we've connected with a lot of these homeowners today, thank God, right? So that's cool. Sometimes you just get voicemails. Uh, so I'm, I'm really batting a thousand with connecting here. 
Uh, hopefully, I'm bringing some clarity to it. And in some of these cases, we just need to follow up because the guy's just not soft yet. He's got his walls up a little. Okay, and I think that guy's probably the same way. I think he likes talking about it, though. He's just not ready. He's just not ready. All right. Okay. Does anybody Thank have you. an opinion on that or maybe some advice? Maybe I could do better. That's great. A great way to learn is to critique me. I appreciate it when, when he asked, um, he said, I don't want to do a third party. And you said, well, I need to make some money on this. I'm an investor. And this is, I, I like how you explained uh, our role as investors versus realtors. Yeah. I like just being honest with people. Like, boom. Unbelievably transparently honest. <laughs> It's like, oh, well, this guy's not lying to me because he's telling me he's in it for the money. I am too. Okay, <laughs> right? That's what he's probably thinking. I am too. I just want to make sure he doesn't get any of my money. You know, so, like, you know, yeah, I guess we got to watch that a little bit. But, yeah, thank you for saying that because I, I haven't always been that way, everybody. Like, I, I've, I've, had to grow the, I've had to grow the eggs to do it, to be honest. To just be like, hey, you know, I, because I, I won't make any money doing that. And I'm here, I'm, you know, this is my business. This is what I'm doing here. So is this something that we can do? Are you comfortable? Is there something I can do to make you comfortable? Or do we just need to stop calling you? You've heard me say that a couple times, too, pretty close to that today. Okay. And the reason I do that is because on these ghosting leads, you got to put a little pressure on them a little. Like, hey, I am not going to let you give me the damn runaround forever and ever. Okay. Let me put a little pressure on you. Hey, it's okay if you want to just tell me no, man. But see, in some of these cases today, they wouldn't say no. That's kind of cool, too. So, you know, hey, just keep them as a bee lead. Put them in your beehive, okay? All right. You do this every day. Do this every day for a couple hours, and you'll have an unbelievable beehive. And you'll notice that there'll be deals that pop right out of that beehive right into your bank account. And it's it's really incredibly awesome when it happens. So follow up, follow up. But I think we're making good connections. Have we burned any bridges with anyone today, though? Does anybody feel like, hey, I gave you a good lead and you totally torched it? Okay. <laughs> that is something I might do at some point, too. All right. <laughs> Okay, we got time for one more call, I think. It's 10 minutes till, and we can, we can jump right into another one. Who's up, who's up next? I, I don't want anybody to feel left out. Does anybody feel left out? Because I, I want to get you next. And I think maybe Prezina sent me another one. Okay, let's try this one. Prezina sends me... One's out of New York, which you guys already know. I don't even like calling into New York. <laughs> I don't even like it because these people are smart, man. They're fast talkers, too. I'm a slow talker. But I did okay with that guy earlier from Schnenek. Schnenecti. You did great. Did I say Schnenectedy right, Prezina? I was worried about that. Yeah, Schnenectedy. <laughs> That's funny. I was like, as soon as I said that, I was like, oh, he knows I ain't from nowhere around now. I done stepped in it now because he knows I'm a hillbilly. Okay, well, this one looks like 139000 Four bedroom, two bath. 2,034 square feet. Wow. Okay. And uh, Amsterdam, New York. This looks like a this looks like an old one. Built in 1904. Wowie zowie. Okay. Okay. But it looks like it's been remodeled. Okay. All right. Let's give this guy a call. Let's see what happens. Well, thank you for saying that, Val. Appreciate that. Love you guys. Thanks for being here. It means a lot to me that you care. Hello. 
Yeah. Hey, this is Justin. I, I'm calling about. Has I got the right place? Yes, sir. Awesome, man. Hey, so this house is not sold already? No. Dang, man. Why? Why not? It look. Uh, it looks good. Why not? I don't know. Uh, did you do the work inside there? It looks nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Okay, cool, man. Um, I'm sorry. I lost the guy. Hmm. Sounded like he was out and about doing something. Not sure. Let me try calling him one more time. See what happens. Sometimes you get disconnected. I've had a couple, like, almost disconnects today. He's 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 busy. We'll have to call, we'll have to call him again at another time, Prezina. So save that one, okay? Save that, okay. Yeah, save that. We'll call that one again and 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 get let's get some more. And if you want, hop on my calendar and we'll call another one some other time, just you and me. And that okay. Go, and that goes for everybody in the club. If you want to call one, just private you and me. Hop on my calendar. You know how to find me, and we'll we'll do this. But everybody, you can see. It's just it's just setting the time to do it. It's just dialing the phone. Okay, actually, literally just dialing the phone. You can see I'm not doing a lot of property research or anything on any of these. I'm just dialing the phone, and I'm just kind of doing the same thing every time, aren't I? I really am. So you can learn this, too. This is not a skill that you're born with. This is a skill that you learn just like driving a car, okay? And sometimes it feels like driving a stick shift. Like there's a lot going on, you know, but you can do it. Okay. You can't, people are like stick shift. What's that? A stick shift car. I've never even heard of that. I'm going to have to Google that. Honey, what's a stick shift car? I've never seen one. Okay. Yeah. Well, for those of you who know, <laughs> it's a little tougher because you got to, you got to do work both hands, the steering wheel and both feet. So, but once you get it going, man, it's fun. All right. So get out there, practice with it a little bit. Nobody's going to die. Nobody's going to go to prison, okay, just because you're out here trying this. This is how you grow. This is how you, you become what you want to be in this business. Practice, practice, practice. I love you guys. Today's my wedding anniversary, so uh, I'm going to go have fun with my wife the rest of the day, and we're going to go out on a little day trip. We're going to go stay at a hotel in a little small, quaint, little small little town here in in Missouri, and uh, we're gonna, I don't know, we're just gonna have fun. Gonna eat some dinner, and I don't know. We like to play it by ear a lot. <laughs> All right, love you guys. Um, anybody with anything? Happy quick, anniversary. Thank you, Prezina. <laughs> Happy anniversary. You. Love you guys. Anything anybody need before I go, real quick? Okay. Well, thank oh, you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for being here. I'll see you next time, okay? We do this next Thursday, too, okay? <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> Love you guys.